All right, our guest Anita suffered a heartbreaking loss just two months ago when her husband James passed away. But an already devastating situation turned unbearable when Anita's daughters blamed her for their father's death. And Anita says one person is responsible for losing the love of her life. She blames her daughter Brittany. There is so much to unpack here. Everyone, please welcome Anita to the show. So, first of all, Anita, I have to say I'm so sorry. I know it's been two months since you lost your husband. I'm really sorry about that. How have you been holding up? I... You're not? I just stay in my room, in my bed, and look at the bitch where talk to him like that, and now I... Yeah. It's just sad, lonely. Tell me about your husband, James. Beautiful man. I yeah. loved him. <laughs> he was the world. He was? Yes. yes. Y'all had a great relationship? A beautiful relationship. So, I like that I got a smile out of you when you talk about... I love talking about it. <laughs> but there was something that my producers told me, that you blame your daughter, Brittany, for your husband's... Yeah, because she said that we was all in the living room. We was in there uh, just talking and stuff, and he was in laying in the bed. And she said that she could have, you know, kind of like helped him, save him or something because she could have gave him the oxygen, put the oxygen machine on him, but she left and she didn't do that. And that's the only thing that kind of like hurt me on that part. She should so say, your husband was needing oxygen? He was on an oxygen tank? No, he wasn't on it. They had brought one to the house in case he needed it. Oh, got it. And so you're saying that you all were in the living room, he needed it in that moment. And she said saying, when she went to the restaurant in the room where he was that he needed, she said felt like he needed it. She said, Dad, I'm going to put it in your oxygen. But she left out the door. She didn't give it to him. And when I went used to the restroom, it's like he kind of like gas for her. But when I said, James, husband, he didn't respond to me. So I jumped and got in the bed with him, put my hand to his nose, put something, nothing. And, but she was gone already, but then I had to call and let her know your daddy gone. So I feel like you could have helped me. You could have saved him if it wasn't your time to save him. You know, you could have been. Got it. Anything. Okay. So how has Jane passing affected your relationship with your kids? Terrible. They What's loved their daddy it better more than they loved him me. They didn't love me. They don't love me the way they love him. Oh, wow. Because it's whatever he say, it went with them. But now I can say something that don't go. It's a whole different story. So what are you here today for? I'm here to get some help to save my, my family with them. I want to save us. You do want to save your family? Yeah. You do want to save it. So you don't like this dysfunction that you're in? No, I do not. Yeah, OK. Well, I want to go ahead and meet one of your daughters. I want to meet Sabrina. Everyone, please welcome Sabrina to the show. <laughs> I know it's been hard for you because you just lost your father two months ago. Mm -hmm. Sabrina, were you close with your father before um, he passed away? Yes. How close? Very. We talked. We... I can ride by the house in the mornings. He's up on the porch. He's able to talk to without judging you. He'll give you good advice on what you need. My daddy been there. He's always been a father. Yeah. But do you think that your mother is great as well? You know, I think you told my producers that she's such a giving person. She does. She gives to Jamie and BB sometimes whenever they oh, need when it. Only when they borrow my money and they don't want to pay back and I want my money back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, but your daughter's saying they're giving. You know what I mean? I know you're... I, I, I hear your point of view, but you, your daughter's saying you're giving. Your mother's a giving person? Yeah. Yeah. So even though you love your father, you also see the good in your mother. Yeah. Yeah. I always help. Before my daddy passed, like he... He always says, Sabrina, no matter what Sabrina needed or what they needed, no matter if I had to go to work or whatever, I was always come through them. He told everybody that in the family. So sometimes I don't feel like she see it, though. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to heal your family? Is that why you're here? Yeah, because that's what my daddy said before he passed. He said he want everybody to be together because at the end of the day, all you have is your family. Well, I want to bring Jamie to the show right now because I'm trying to figure out why there's um, this issue. Jamie, come on out. She is it. She evil. You said Jamie's evil? She evil. <laughs> She's very evil. Jamie, welcome to the show. How you doing? I'm good. Uh, your mother just said that she thinks you're evil. How does it make you feel to hear that? I'm not evil. She evil. Like, it's... I don't want to cry. Hello. Lord. Tissue. Yeah, tissue. Hi, 
Well, How did it feel to hear that voicemail from your mother? <sighs> okay, since I hear this all the time, I just laughed at it. Like you hear this type of language all the time. I hear it all the time, every day. Well, why do you laugh when your daughters tell you this? Why do you think it's funny? God, they funny. Why? Girl. <laughs> Jamie, do you think your like mother's them. behavior got worse after your father? I don't like that. Yes, it got it's real yeah. bad. In what ways? She used to sit on the couch and mind her business. And if we get on her nerves, she then she act out. Well, otherwise than that, as soon as we walk to the door, get, get out. out. Cause they evil. Mama, we not evil. Ooh. Is this a nervous smile? No, nah, it's about to make me go off smile. All right, so your other daughter, Crystal's in the audience. Crystal, how does it feel to see your sisters fighting like this with your mom? Well, it makes me like, sit down. She don't care about nothing. She don't. She, make, she put on this act. Look, you see, I'm like, she put on this act as if she want a relationship with us. She don't want a relationship with us. You sit see, down. you trying to, you trying to make, you try to make stuff better. Sit down. Mom. Mama, don't do that. Sit down. What? 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 Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why, why are you telling me to sit down? I asked her a question. Yeah. That, that was me that asked her. Why, why are you mad at her for standing at, standing up? Because she going to talk about me. Because she don't <laughs> like to hear the truth. And when the truth comes up, she don't want to hear it. Your daughter's crying. She always how, crying. How, how, how are your daughters evil? I just want you to tell me, because you keep saying they're evil. How are they evil? They Can is. you explain that to me? Because they always got something against me. to say something bad against me. Mama, I'm honest, I can tell you. I said, I don't want to become a prank on the show to make her look bad. I really want to work this, like, make it work. I didn't want to come here and bad. I, said that too. I didn't want the audience to be like, oh, she a bad person. No, you make yourself look bad. You tell it. Yeah. <laughs> I am what I am. Don't no. be what I am. No. no, you're not, because you tell somebody that you know that you're pushing us away. Yeah, you like you. Know. And I told, and I told that, you, I like, you. Why, if you know that you're pushing us away, why continue to do yeah. it? And you are the only parent we got left. Like, why would you do that? Everyone, can we please welcome Brittany to the show? I think it's important to have all your daughters out. Yes, sir. Yeah, I want. She is. Mm -hmm. Hi, Brittany. Welcome to the show. Hi. So, how does it feel to hear your mom say that you're the reason for your father's death? Mm, it hurts. Mm. <laughs> it hurts so bad. Mm. But. Mm. That's who she is. Mm. Hmm. She blame everybody but herself. Oh, yeah, ain't got nothing that. to blame myself for. You left a bad message for BB too when you when you you bet you was the one for his death. BB was at her house crying, like my mama. Like you can't keep doing them like that. You can't blame that girl for that. My daddy dead. And I you got that girl. And I was crying. like, Mama, what you what you do to BB? She was like, Don't be calling me, taking up for nobody. This is my sister. You my mama. I'm asking y'all what's going on. You let somebody else call your phone and tell your phone or tell you a lie. Like did nobody say that you was dead? We don't want you. We don't want you dead. We well, want you hurt. Every time I get paid, I take you out, don't I? Yeah. No. Every time I get paid, I. Take Thank you, I see you don't knock. No. I always, what you do, you don't show nothing. You don't care. You don't care, mama, you don't. You want to be lonely, do you? Oh, yeah. Do you want to be lonely? Yeah. You don't yeah. want us around, do you? No. Hey. Brittany, you received a message from your mother that said she felt like you were the reason your father died. No, I was in her face. She was in her we face. Was in she her was in her face. face. We was what, in her house. What was that like for you? It broke me down. My sister had to come and sit in front of me just because. And... She was steady saying, like, it's your fault. And she was shaking her head like she doing now, laughing and shaking her head and saying, it's your fault. I'm crying. I'm telling her, Mom, it's not. Like, I already blamed myself because I walked in that room. I heard my daddy breathing like that. She said, I heard him breathing like that all day. It's, he been like that all day. I said, OK, well, Mama, I, t I went back in the room. I said, Dad, I'll be right back. I love you. And I, I'll be right back. He gave me a he said, like this. And I was like, OK, I'll be right back. I didn't come back straight back like I wanted to. I stayed with my kids, and she called me like about ten minutes later as and say he gone. So you Fine. weren't even able to talk about your feelings in the moment because your mother immediately started to accuse you. No, she waited. It, it took a minute. I'm coming to her house all day, every day. And then one day it started. And, and then that day, she just said it like, and I don't feel like that's right. I told her it was not right for you to blame me and I blame myself. That hurt me to the core. Like, I can't stop thinking about that. That was on my mind all the time. It was. Like, every day. Yeah. But we also got to get something clear, too. My daddy knew he was dying. 
somebody got to stop blaming the other person. Like the other person. Nobody, nobody killed him. Nobody killed him. Anita, when you came on the show, you first said you want to save your family, and then I saw an immediate switch as your daughter started walking out one by one. What was the switch? Them. She act like a child. She want to be a child. What was the switch? Why did you all of a sudden you said you I don't like him. Girl, bye. You, <laughs> well, you, get off the stage. You, you ain't left oh, yet. I'm not leaving the stage. Well, don't holler about it. You miss your husband. That's the only thing I miss. Okay, listen. I, I can see what's going on here. And the first thing is you are all grieving. And you have not had any time to grieve what has happened. You have lost your husband and your best friend. You have lost your father. I was taking notes as you were talking, and I was realizing that, okay, she's pushing them away. She's, she's, she's doing things, and you kept saying they, lo she, they love their father more. I want to, all of y'all, can one by one, can you tell your mother you love her? I love you, mama. I love you, mama. It's hard right now. I know it's hard right now. But I do love her. Do you love your mother? Yeah, I love her to death. Your children love you. When your husband died, the love didn't die with him. The love is still here. Well, I feel like it is. I know you do. I know. You're grieving and you are hurting right now. But these hurtful words you're saying to your children is not gonna bring your husband back. I know that. Would your husband want you to see y'all fighting on this stage right now? No. You're creating a narrative in your mind that's not true. Yeah. It's not true, you are loved. Don't you just said push, something right, right no, there. don't push your daughters away. You are loved, and you deserve to be loved. You deserve to be loved, and you deserve to grieve. You gotta receive it right now. Your family loves you, and it's still here. Your daughters love you. The love did not die with your husband. Yes, it did. It did not. It didn't. It did not. You don't have to use hurtful words and turn your back because you think the love is gone. The love is still here. Can you look at your daughters? You brought these women into this world. Look at them, they love you. Look at your daughters. Mm -hmm. Look at your daughters, they love you. For just one second, there had she to be- She look like she mad down there. She mumbling over here. You say something. And she crying It's because out there. they're grieving. <laughs> They're oh grieving. God. They're allowed to have feelings just the way you are, but that does not take away from their love for you. I don't know about that. When your mother starts saying hurtful things to you, I want your only response to be, Daddy loved you and I love you too. But she used to treat him bad as well. It, like... it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Because what's going to happen is you're going tit for tat. Y'all are going tit mm -hmm. for tat right now when y'all are all grieving. The man that showed y'all all unconditional love is gone. And so now it's like, well, you did wrong. You did wrong. It's your fault. It's your fault. It's none of your fault that he passed away. I don't blame myself. None of your fault. I know you don't fully believe it. Your mother loves you. I know she oh. does. Come sit with your sisters. You don't need to be in the room. Come sit with your sisters. You might better stay out there. You're 22 and I know. I'm only 23 years old. You gotta understand, from the time I was a kid, I've been getting, cause I've been getting called mm. B words, all this. Mm, mm. When I ask her for anything, she'll tell me no. If I ask my daddy, she cousin me, I tell him, don't give that, she not, don't give her nothing. It's always been like that. Nobody wants to grow up like that. Like, I know, and you didn't deserve it you. either. You didn't deserve it. Mm. We come around you like we bring you nothing but happiness. Enjoy something where you say we don't. You know, we do. When I know and the we do. Yelling at us and yeah, she and us the crying, minutes, I think too. All she do is smile and laugh. Why, why are you are you getting happy from our pain? She's yeah. not. Yeah. She's not. Cry now. Girl. You gotta stop with the hurtful words. Listen, your mother just said something hurtful. This this is gonna take deeper work than this moment. I'm gonna just be honest with y'all. This is this is more than this is just more like y'all this y'all know this is my life's passion is helping people and and I, I can't try to pretend I can fix this in 20 minutes. Yeah. I can't. Uh -huh. This is deeper, especially you. I won't be involved with none of them. Yes, you will. Not not the division. Yes, 
Yes, you will. No, I won't. Yes, you will. No, I won't. How are we going? We'll be back in my house. Listen, find somewhere and keep the listen kids, everyone. Listen, listen everyone at home. You just can't fix it in a moment. And that's what, what we're seeing right now. We're what? seeing grief and we're seeing pain. And I promise you and I vow I'm going to try to work with you all to help you through this. But we cannot do this right now. Sometimes things just don't have a happy resolution. You won't be back after today. Not in my house. I'll take your braid out your hair. I'll take your braid out your hair. Listen, I'm sorry y'all going through this. Get out I'm of sorry. Here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. Where are you going? I'll tell you where you're going. Right here to subscribe and right here to watch more. Period.